So we got a little mystery over on NXT tonight. Of course, we got this mysterious date, and it's got everybody excited over on Twitter. Of course, the 4th of October 2020, also known as the next date of the next NXT TakeOver. And it looks like someone's coming. Of course, we saw this mysterious figure seemingly break in to NXT. They sort of, well, here for yourself. I help create something out of my own love. These NXT championships have been in isolation for far too long. Now, the interesting thing there is you hear the woman's voice, but there's also a male voice as well. Now, seemingly, there is both the men's and the women's NXT championships inside that case. So, I'm assuming there's going to be a man and a woman coming to NXT at NXT TakeOver in October, and I'm excited. When they build stuff like this, you know I'm making a video. You know that this is a kind of lifeblood of this channel. Now, people are saying it could be Karrion Cross and Scarlet. Maybe. It could be. But they also said that um, they've been, they built this on their own blood. Now, that seems a little bit far-fetched because they are relatively new to NXT, and I think this is a bit too soon to return them. And this was never their gimmick. So that doesn't make sense. Now, a lot of people are saying Tessa Blanchard. Um, that could make a lot of sense. Obviously, we don't know who the male would be with Tessa, if there even is a male. It could just be one or the other. Um, it will be interesting. I mean, Tessa could potentially want both titles. She was the TNA Impact Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. Of course, some people are saying Paige. Of course, she did build NXT's women division. I think when you look back at famous NXT women's champions, Paige is at the top of a lot of people's lists. So Paige, it's been rumoured for ages that she might want to come back to the ring, that she might be healthy, etc. It's a possibility. Some people are even saying it could be Bo Dallas. Of course, Bo Dallas, a former NXT champion, he helped build NXT and they haven't done anything with him for ages on SmackDown or Raw. So it could make sense. They've sent him back to NXT. I think like that would probably be an okay thing for Bo Dallas to do. But without a doubt, there was definite SmackDown hacker vibes about whoever the hell this was. You can see the green. You can see the way they sort of broke in. Um, you can see the light around the actual screen. It was like a camera. It was like a hacker. So I don't think it's going to be directly the SmackDown hackers invaded NXT. I think they might possibly claim it to be the SmackDown hacker of old because it puts an end to that storyline. That would make a lot of sense. And I think it would make a lot of fans happy to finally get a story end into that. Um, I genuinely have no idea who this is. It could be anyone. Yes, it could be CM Punk. I'm, I'm sure I'm sure that someone's going to clickbait that. But genuinely, it could be anyone. But it's got my excitement. It's got my attention. October 4th at TakeOver, someone, multiple people, a faction, whatever this is, is coming. And they're coming for the championships of NXT. So if you think you can decode what these people, duo, elephants, aliens, whatever these people are, let me know who you think these people are in the comment section down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, like the video, of course share it so your friends can find it and come and have their say. Follow me over on Twitter and Instagram at CWrestlingUK. I will see you as always next time. Peace!